after the playoffs. Ricardo Thomas was a part of that Waterhouse team. Then came across to this Tumba Holding team. Damian Hyatt is back between the sticks. That would be a good sign for them. He was out the week before. Burton Watkin is, remains in the starting lineup and Wilkes will be his partner in the back line. Shaquille Powell and Donovan Sigri. Fabian McCarthy, a big name back. He was out with a hamstring injury last time out. Roger Smith, Stephen Williams, Thomas, who we mentioned, and Nicholas Nelson, their leading goal scorer, back in the starting lineup with six goals. Yeah, six goals, but scoreless in the last six game weeks. He'll be looking to fix that form because he has been such a light for this Dumbo Holding team so far this season. Yeah, there was quite a bit of indiscipline in the Dumbo Holding squad, hence why so many players were left out in the last game. And Fabian McCarthy, who usually, well, solidifies the back line in that defensive midfield role, was out with injury. And I think he will make a big difference for Dumbo Holding. This is how Arnett Gans will shape up, as we mentioned. Eric Edwards still injured, so Asha Hutchinson, the teenager, is there. Shane Watson, Philando Wing, Gerald Neal will partner uh, Joel Cunningham. Marlon Martin is back from injury there, defensive midfield as well. Jamon Shepard, Jaheim National Thomas, the impressive 20-year-old midfielder. Fabian Reed, the ever-present goal scorer. Warner Brown, the talented former stats forward. And Shea Smith will add some width as well, their number 11 and spent a lot of time at Holy Trinity where he went to school. Two impressive lineups. How you like in Arnett Gardens? Yeah, typical 4-3-3. That's what we expect. The full match highlights. Stefan Dewar, FIFA central referee in charge of this fixture. And quite a busy one it was early. Nicholas Nelson took that nicely. Thought he had a real Shout for a penalty on that occasion, wasn't given. And then this move. The strike first by Stephen Williams, a follow-up by Nelson, who must have thought he found the back of the net. But Asha Hutchinson, with a brilliant save. Save of the season for me. And part of what made him be the unanimous man for the play of the match. Then this opportunity for Brian Burkett had to score there. 20 goals in his schoolboy season this season, Brian Burkett. And I'm sorry, but that should have been his second of his Premier League season. Missed a chance over the top. And that was the story of Dumble Holden's evening. Chances that not converted. That one was for Powell. And Asha Hutchinson with another telling save. Then that was put in the back of the net, but Nelson was offside. And Dumble Holden just couldn't find their way past and it guns legally at least. Nelson then with this. And this was the same save again from Hutchinson. Big save it was. This is just another angle of it. And then Nelson, he had a finish, but he was offside. Thought he had number seven on the season to match last year's season, Nelson, but it wasn't to be. Then on it Gardens, this moment, lovely pass by Kelsen, but the first touch from Warner Brown was something to behold. How he took that into his stride. Had the first strike. Look at his first touch from Warner Brown. Exquisite. The strike was well saved by Damian Hyatt, but he could do nothing by the follow-up of Fabian Reed, who added his second of the season Reed. He wasn't going to miss from there. And Dumbo Holden were beaten against the run of play. And he says to everyone in the crowd, it's me. I can do no wrong. Kelson, he had opportunities after coming off the bench. That with his Rico right foot, couldn't pass Hyatt. And then Nelson pending one, but Asher Hutchinson was just too good on the day, Hutchinson. Then again, in good position in making it difficult for Nelson, who toe poked that across the area to Powell. And his shot was wide. One nil to the junglers after 90 minutes. They were more clinical, were on it, Gardens. Four on target from their nine attempts. Double hole in at four on target as well from 15 attempts. They just had to do better. Some 28 fouls between the two. Seven yellow cards shown by referee Stefan Duar, but he managed to keep all 22 players on the park. There were four saves for Anik Gardens. Main man in Asher Hutchinson. Three for Damian Hyatt. And double holding with the majority of the possession, but they just couldn't get that blank changed. It's on at Gardens 1, Tumble holding nil after 90 minutes. Ligier Williams is with the man of the match, none other than Asha Hutchinson. Yeah, Asha Hutchinson, man of the match, excellent display, some great saves, but judging by your calm demeanor, I'm guessing, guessing this is just something that you're used to. Kinda. 
And you know, he came into the team. Usually, when you get a run in the Iron team, you're extremely successful. Is that something that's your aim for you this season? Yes, it's a lot of hard work. And you know, last season you got that national call up. Is that something that you're seeking out again? Definitely. I know this Iron Guys team, they're a quality team. You missed out on the title last season. Do you want to win it all this year? That's my aim for this season. I right, really excellent performance and best of luck for the rest of the season. Thank you. I know now we'll be speaking with some member of the Dumbo Holding coaching staff. Definitely not the performance that they would have wanted in a game like this, a top six clash. A lot of issues within that camp at the current moment, but they didn't definitely didn't get the result that they would have wanted. Dumbo Holding, of course, went to the final of the Jamaica Premier League the season before last, last season, snuck into the top six, but didn't make it too far. And a new management now, Lenny Teacher Hyde, of course. A lot of changes in playing staff as well. Still playing the usual Dumbo Holding way, but couldn't get the result today. But a man who could get the result today was 